What up, YouTube world? Um, two package mail that I opened one up already. I haven't looked at the contents, but the other one's got this like cellophane nonsense around it. I don't know what it is. So, watching Clash of the Champions, either three, I think three or five, it might be three. But I'm gonna get into mail day that I had the other day, where the packaging is all not torn up, but everything is just packaged way too tightly. There's a Drew Bledsoe shirt off my back. Insert, and that's it's not embossed, but it's sort of like raised there along the way. That was the, if you remember, the 2500 and then there's a bunch of other stuff. After looking at eBay, that what I ordered, I'm like, man, I should have got more. This is a stop action merino. That one's to 4,000 on this hit list merino. Die cut on the side there. Sort of see. And then uh, that bad boy's numbered. 8609. North cut and I don't know, whoever number 9 is. There's two more cards in there. Because I looked, I'm like, man, I should add more cards. It's 97. Uh, high octane. Dan Marino to tops insert. Nice holographic foil there. Insert revolution. What up, AR Felk 77? AR Felk, not R Felk. The same. Keep it real. Real talk. Love you, Michael. Hope everything is well in the old Shakopee region of the world. And this, uh. All rookie. Terrell Davis. You can sort of see. Acetate style there. I remember those are about a 1 in 72 pull. <coughs> I think on a series 2 95 altar. So I wanted to show those first. Because I know I didn't show them the other day and I said that as soon as I get them unstuck. They're going to be uh, showed off to the, the masses. The 10 to 20 people that constantly watch my videos, which I think. So this first one, nicely packaged for the win. Ninety four Slambery, a Legends reunion. I don't know if I have this. I I may have, I may not may have not have because I've got I think it's another ninety three Slambery I've got. Oh, it was like another Legends reunion then too. But on the back it's got Sting, Flair, Vader, Nasties, uh, Steven Regal, Dustin Rhodes. Ray the Crippler Stevens, Killer Kowalski, R.I.P., Vern Gagne, and many, many more. So, Philadelphia Civic Center, which I don't think it was. I want to say the one I've watched, the one I've got, is somewhere from the southeast, WCW country. Right now, I'm the Clash of the Champions. Al Perez against Nikita Koloff. Al Perez out of the Gary Hart stable. All those boxes there are wrestling videos. Let's sort of see over in the corner there under the coats. That's a wrestling rack of DVDs. And over in that corner with the sloth deals on top. That's a wrestling rack of excitement too. That's all in order WWF videos with a couple others. So... At some point, there will be a PC vid, maybe Sunday. Break it up into two parts. I'd really like to get everything, or a good chunk of the stuff that's coming in, in. But, we'll see. None of this deal. I don't know what's in here. Media mail, which usually means for the loss. Okay, I don't know what this is. Pretty torn up on the one DVD here. So it's always nice to have bubble bubble mailers or bubble wrap. But it's an RF video shoot. Uh, two disc.
shoot interview with the greatest intercontinental champion of all time. The Honky Tonk Man. So that'll be interesting. I don't know what the running time is. It looks like just something not generically made, but it isn't like a professional WWF or like this next one. And again, that's oh, good lord. Torn to shit. Those are kosher still. I'm not a huge fan of that, but if, oh, Lord, this thing is to get chewed the fuck up. I'm trying to think. I think it's just the three items, but uh, oh, 2008 TNA Kurt Angle two disc set. Another one of my favorites of all time. That he was gonna sign with ECW. I don't know. I mean, the casual fans out there, I'll say, my good buddy. Tom, my good buddy Danny, and my good buddy Paul, Hudson fan 15, then 10, 13, uh, P Daz, P Dazzler, I don't even know what the hell your YouTube is, P Dazzler 10 something, I don't know. But the ECW fans, I know Matt and Mac 27, that angle is going to sign with uh, ECW, but he was there the night uh, Raven. Crucified Sandman and had him on the, the cross and tried to lift him up and that was just one of the biggest train wrecks. I mean, it's good to be extreme, but a lot of like the wrestling friends where you have like a Sting who's a devout Christian. I mean, super. I mean, really in the straight and narrow. He wasn't an ECW, but I mean, you have people in the locker room that might let's say New Jack. I don't believe he is. I can't say yay or nay to that. I will go with that, but I'm just saying as an example here. You have somebody like New Jack who comes off in the ring. It's just an absolute badass who has some trouble in life, but might be a devout Christian that might have been backstage. Balls Mahoney, John Cronus, Taz, any one of the ECW locker room guys. And they see that, and I know a lot of the locker room was just pissed off about that, because Raven, I mean, he had some ideas, but a lot of the stuff is just goofy and out there, and if it were done after the WWF did a lot of their stuff, maybe it wouldn't have been frowned upon as much. I mean, you'd still get a lot of heat, but see if that's good, too. Just see if that's good. But, uh... But uh, Angle was had planned to sign with uh, the WWF or uh, WWF ECW, and this will be interesting. I'd... I saw it the same again, same seller, obviously. But I wonder. I'm a fan of his, even though he's done a lot of stupid shit too. But in the wrestling business, you can hate him, you can love him, you can be a vilified villain, you can be somebody that said, hey, you say, hey, he's the reason why a lot of people came back to wrestling and watched it. You can say, hey, he's a reason, one of the reasons that WCW was killed. You can say a lot of bad things, a lot of good things. Sort of like Hitler. Sort of like Hitler. We'll leave it at that. But uh, a book. Forgiven by Vince Russo. Forward by Ed Ferrara, who... I'm not a big fan of the character. He played on uh, Nitro there for a while. Is good old Oklahoma. A direct... Literally a direct cock shot to... Uh, Ra's announcer, Jim Ross. So... I don't know what this is about. I didn't look at anything like online to give like a brief synopsis, but I figured, well, it's got to be worth the whatever for all these like maybe 18 bucks. So four DVDs total, a book. I figured it was worth it. 
so enjoy YouTube. And yes, here fell, Michael. I still have my video I'm gonna do. I don't know what it is. I've chatted a bit with Danny about it. A little with Scott last night. But Danny, I've steered him in the direction of what I want to do. He doesn't know completely, he just knows it's going to be dangerously stupid. Let's put it that way. I just need to figure out uh, some things. I've got I've got a location, but I, the editing, that's the thing that's killing me right now, the editing. If I could edit an online, or an online, a video that I uploaded, it would be a monumental video that I don't want to sound like a braggart, boastful, as my wife would say. But I just believe it'd be absolutely... I don't even know the word. Epic, again, I told Denny, Epic doesn't even begin to, like, describe it. So hopefully I can pull it off. I just need to figure out a few things and... It might be like a two-part video, just because I... I gotta figure out the editing thing. So... But yeah. Be on the lookout for that. I don't know how much more I got to come in for mail. Like I said, I want to ease her back a bit. I think there's one guy that's got some stuff I'd like to wrap up and get everything together. But other than that, I won't say I'm happy at the wrestling collection, but I guess I'll have to be for the time being. So, take her easy, YouTube. Here's my snack. Can you read the date? And if she's easy. And cut to eyes.